Most of us have probably heard about the importance of, quote, being in touch with our emotions as a way of staying healthy. I can say from years of experience that she's pretty good at this. Me, I'm still working on it. In any case, our Inner World segment today is going to introduce us to a technique that could be truly life-changing, especially when it comes to dealing with our emotions and the seriously bad things that can happen to us in life. Our Inner World Guide, Michelle Bernhardt, has been examining this technique, and what she's found is very good news. Thank you, Judy and Roy. This season on Healing Quest, we've been exploring the topic of trauma, as a portal for transformation. And the man you're about to meet has made it possible for people all over the world to do just that. So, you know, you've, you've had two heroes journey, journeys. One in the battlefield, and the other one now in, in the inner battlefield. Peter Levine wants to help all of us be heroes when it comes to transforming the trauma in our life. One of the amazing things about being able to to really work with trauma successfully, to transform trauma, is that every time we do that, we become stronger, we become more resilient human beings. Peter is the developer of somatic experiencing, which is a form of therapy aimed at relieving the symptoms of trauma by releasing them physically. And rest. Somatic experiencing comes from an understanding that trauma is something that happens not just in the mind, not just in the brain, but in the body. When we experience that we're threatened, our body tightens, we stiffen, we retract, uh, our guts are, uh, twist, we collapse into helplessness. And this, the, the thing that has not been realized, not well understood, is that the body holds those patterns of tension or collapse and helplessness. And until we change the experience in the body, the body keeps telling the mind that there's threat. When I first came, my very first session, I remember in LA, I thought this was the dumbest thing in the world. I, 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 honestly, I, I was so resistant to it. Ray is a Marine who'd been severely injured by explosive devices in Iraq. In fact, Ray had been prescribed a cocktail of powerful medications, not only for pain, but for PTSD, TBI, traumatic brain injury, Tourette syndrome, and depression. If we can help the person have new experiences in their bodies where they feel more powerful, more centered, more grounded, then they're able to deal with those traumatic memories in a much better way, in a, much, in a way that is embodying and empowering. I'm gonna ask you just to say these words and just to notice what happens inside of you, sensations, thoughts, pictures, or memory, whatever. Just feeling the vibration, the shaking, the trembling. I want you to say, I'm alive. I'm alive. I'm alive and I'm here. I'm alive and I'm here. I survived. I survived. Not everyone did. Not everyone did. And I'm here. And I'm here. And I'm alive. And I'm alive. I honestly thought that time would be the only thing that would really cure my problems. But it's, it's like when you really let yourself be into it, it's a completely different experience. If you've had any type of traumatic experience and you've tried medications after medications like I have and just don't work for you, I would say broaden your horizon. Documentary filmmaker Regina K. Scully broadened her horizon to include somatic experiencing, and the results were powerful and dramatic. The whole thing is that um, neurons that fire together wire together. So trauma literally reinforces the neurons in our system to be, you know, so... Um, uh, um, stuck? Stuck. Stuck together, exactly. When you're stuck in trauma, you are stuck in the memory of trauma. But the memory, again, it's not cognitive. It's not something that we can recall. 
It's how the body has responded and how the body has got stuck. I lie down on her table. She has a, a healing table. And she literally places her hands underneath my entire uh, central nervous system from head to toe and literally works through the head down down my whole body and then around my feet pulling out the energy the, the, like the again the the neurons and the energy that is so misplaced and lodged in my system she releases it it literally releases it from the body now this is something that words alone can't do and i know it's it's hard for the rational mind to understand it but when you are physically going through it and you feel the benefits and the heat so you you can literally feel the release and in my case it was extremely effective i'm concerned when people get the idea that trauma is a, a life sentence and while trauma is a fact of life the good news is that it doesn't have to be a life sentence and we have the instincts to heal from these traumas, given the appropriate support and guidance. After completing his treatments, Ray entered a college program, got married and had a child, and he came back to visit Peter Levine. Ray still had challenges, but he also had new coping skills, and he'd made huge progress in transforming the trauma that had once been so painful. So again, the words are, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. I'm home. I'm home. It's been a long journey. It's been a long journey. And I'm coming home at last. And I'm coming home at last. And I give thanks for life. And I give thanks for life. What a heartfelt story, and it's a reminder to all of us to be grateful for the men and women in the military who sacrificed so much. What I also like about somatic experiencing is that it doesn't require the person to relive the traumatic event. Mm -hmm. It clears the nervous system in a very gentle way. I also like what Peter Levine said about trauma not being a life sentence. Yes, that's an important point. Sentence is an interesting word and can mean a lot of different things and can also work on multiple levels. For example, when Dr. Levine had Ray use those powerful words, I'm alive, I survived, and I'm here, I believe several things were happening. First, by saying the words, Ray was able to release the emotions that were trapped in his body. And second, words are powerful. When we say them, especially in a sentence, we are creating reality. That's what an affirmation is. What we say, we create. And third, a belief can also become a life sentence. I think that's fascinating, but how can a person change a belief that's so deeply held? Well, I often have my clients try to find the sentence that is holding the belief mm -hmm. that might not be serving them. Like, for example, nobody loves me. Then we would try to replace that belief with something better because the sentence and the belief are directly connected and a wrong belief can become a life sentence if we are not careful or conscious. Good advice. And that's what Peter was saying, that just because you experience it doesn't mean you have to carry it with you the rest of your life. Exactly. Peter calls it the magic of transforming trauma because when we do that, we become stronger, more resilient, more powerful, more compassionate human beings. And that, that's a good thing. Yeah. And if you'd like to find a somatic experiencing therapist near you, we have a link on the Healing Quest website that will take you to their directory. And by the way, if you missed any of Michelle's segments on trauma, they're all on our website. And coming up next, the details on a very ambitious effort to bring yoga to millions more Americans. <laughs>